G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a very different video today. It's something I do every year that is a lot of fun. I'll try and leave the, the uh, link in the description below. I believe you have to have an NRL.com account, so make sure you set that up. But today we're going to be doing the NRL ladder predictor. Um, so basically I'm going to do this predictor as the video is filmed. Um, I'll kind of stop the video around the halfway mark and interact with you guys uh, in regards to uh, the results for the NRL ladder predictor. Really interesting to uh, basically you can analyze every single round who will win um, there's kind of specific margins but it'd be cool if they added the feature that you could type your own margin in there's only like 4 8 12 18 there's no i don't know i think that would be a cool feature that could be added in future but let's get into it this will determine uh, if my top eight video that came out last week is correct let's see if those knights make the top four uh, outrageous prediction. Let's see if the Tigers make the top eight. Who knows what's going to happen? The NRL ladder prediction video starts now. <laughs> So guys, I'm currently on round uh, 12, which is technically considered by the end of round 12 at the halfway mark. Um, for some reason, it's a little bit glitchy. There's an error going on on my end. It's showing up as 12 and 3, which would suggest I'm at round 15, but I'm definitely at round 12 here. So I guess uh, I've got three losses. So I guess currently I've got the Roosters on top of the season, which is my minor premiership prediction anyway. Uh, technically, I've got them going 9 and 3 at this point. So, 3 losses to the Roosters compared to 9 wins. I've got the Melbourne Storm underneath them. Now, I've also got the Melbourne Storm at 9 and 3. Obviously, on my screen, it says 12 and 3, which I don't know why. Uh, so, both Roosters and Storm, very classy sides up the top in the regular season uh, at the halfway mark. No real surprise there. Uh, now, you've got my Parramatta Eels. So, 12 rounds. I've got them, well, this is saying 11 and 4, so 4 losses and uh, 8 wins, technically, yeah. So, 8 wins compared to 4 losses. That's an okay ratio, still not the best. I've got Parramatta at this stage in 3rd. 4th, a team that everyone is really hyped up about that I think is a little bit overrated. Uh, it's got the Bunnies. Now, I've got the Bunnies at the exact same as the Eels at 8 and 4, coming by round 12. So eight and four for third and fourth. I guess maybe it's the for and against for the Eels that's on front. In fifth, a team I'm predicting to make the top four. Outrageous prediction, I know. I've got the Newcastle Knights. Now I've got them at five losses. So uh, at this stage, they're currently at seven wins and five losses. Not the greatest ratio, but they're still finding themselves uh, in the eight at this point of the season. And in sixth place, I've got the Pen of Panthers. I've also got them at five losses so five losses to the Panda Panthers seven wins coming into round 12 uh, so we're coming into round 13 they currently sit in sixth position on the NRL ladder predictor at the halfway point I've then got a bit of a shock one here and I've got with six losses and six wins and that is the North Queensland Cowboys I just think this team have actually got quite a good draw looking at their season ahead they're capable of winning some games um, I think they can, they can, well, I don't know. I don't know. Can they sneak into the eight? Based on this, they're currently sitting on seventh at the halfway point of the season. Whether they can retain that is up to them. Now, I've also got underneath them in the final spot in the eight, the Canberra Raiders. Now, they are currently six and six as well as the Cowboy. I think it comes down to point differential, but mainly, um, mainly I'm aiming for accurately, say, a six to 12 point win. Sometimes a two point chucked in there. But, uh, yeah, no, I've got the Titans outside of the eight at this point. Now, they're fighting for a spot in the eight. However, they are seven and five. So five losses, sorry, seven losses and five wins, which is not good enough to put them in the eight right now. In 10th, just where I've got them in my season predictions at present, 
is the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Now, they are just like the Titans. They've actually started pretty good. Uh, five wins in 12 games with seven losses. I don't think that's too bad for the Bulldogs. A lot of people expecting a lot less than that. In 11th is a team where I think I've got them in that spot as well, if I'm not mistaken, the Cronulla Sharks. Now, the Cronulla Sharks are currently at 11 losses. So there's a really big gap between that 11th, 16th position uh, four games to be exact. So I've got them at 11 losses and just, well, that's one win. Honestly, that's one win at that point of the season. Really not good enough for the Sharks. But still in 11th, which isn't too bad. But the top, well, top 10 are really spacing themselves out from this 12th. In 12th, I've got the Brisbane Broncos. They are also like the Sharks, 11 and 1. It's saying 11 and 4, which I don't understand, but anyway. Um, then I've got the Dragons. Now, I've got the Dragons for the Wooden Spoon this year. I've got them getting a win before round 12, though, there. So they are in 13th. Now, I've got... The Warriors in 14th. Now, that is where I've got them in the regular season anyway. So, I've got the Warriors here at... Well, it's a little bit weird because this is saying 12 and 3, but technically it should be 12 and 0 coming into round 13. I'm a little bit confused what's going on with this. Hopefully, this fixes itself by the end, but it's... Uh, I don't know. It's only just come out. There could be a, a glitch going on. Manly. I've got the Manly Seagulls in 15th at this stage with 12 and 3, which is... Technically 12 and none. Uh, and then I've got the West Tigers. At, they're Somehow they're at 13 losses coming to round 12. Like no, like, no, this is not right. But that's the halfway. So the top eight at the halfway point, we'll come back to this. The Roosters, the Storm, Eels, Rabbitohs, Knights, Panthers, Cowboys, Raiders, and then your Titans and your Dogs battling for the eight between a big gap between uh, that 10th and 11th spot there. So, uh... Let's move on and I'll see you guys for the end result. End of the NRL ladder predictor here at the end of round 25. And uh, very interesting. Uh, my minor premiers is the minor premiers of 2020. They come really good towards the end of the season in the ladder predictor. I've got the Penrith Panthers on top of the NRL ladder in round 25. So, or round, round 26, no, 25, 25, 25 rounds. Uh, yeah, this surprised me. They obviously went from six at the halfway point to being right at the top, really hitting some form um, in that midpoint of the season. Dropping seven games, so 18 wins to their name. Not bad there. Now, you've got with eight losses, which would mean they have 17 wins, is the Melbourne Storm in second. Now, I've got the Melbourne Storm taking out the title at this stage, and for them to be in second, they're definitely in the booster seat just like last year, that top two. So really interesting to see that. Our third, my minor premiership prediction for 2021, the Sydney Roosters. Now, they've dropped nine games, which means they have won 16. So 16 wins, nine losses. I could see that from the Roosters. Their halves are going to be very different this year. I still think, though, that their attack is going to be really good. They've got a lot of class in their side, and I feel like they've got too many points in them to not be in that top four. In fourth, surprisingly, is a team I've got in sixth, and that is these boys. It's the Parramatta Eel. Now, I've got the Parramatta Eels dropping 10 games, which would mean 20, uh, sorry, 15 wins and 10 losses. Look, I would see us dropping more than that, but I could see that as a fair ratio. If this team has turned up like they have the last two years in the regular season, I could see this being um, an accurate guess. Now, next up, also on the same as us with 15 and 10, a lot of people predicting them to take out the title, is the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So just outside the top four for mine, I did have them in seventh for my predictions. They're in fifth here. Not a bad spot for them to pounce and attack if they can make it through week one of the finals there. In sixth, you've got the Newcastle Knights. Now, just like the Eels and the Rabbits, I've got them at 10 losses and 15 wins. I don't know why this is saying 28 rounds after 25, so really confusing. It's a little bit annoying, but I've got the Knights in 6th. In 7th, I've got the Canberra Raiders. 
Now, Canberra have dropped 11 games, which means they won 14 in the regular season uh, with 11 losses. You've got the Gold Coast Titans just making the eight, as I've predicted. Now, they are at 13 and 12. So they actually do have more losses than wins, but there's a bit of a gap there between 7th and 8th, which we've seen in 2000 and I believe it was 18, um, maybe 2019, but I think it was 2018. It was a while back now, and that is looking similar situation. Now, two teams were battling the Titans to make the top eight. Now, the North Queensland Cowboys were there almost all season. The Cowboys, if I am right, the Cowboys are fighting hard for the top eight this year based on their draw. They've got a really good draw, guys. I've got the Cowboy dropping 14 games and winning 11, which is putting them in ninth, unfortunately. The Bulldogs. Now, I had the Bulldogs in 10th, and they are just like the Cowboys with 11 wins and 14 losses. I've got them in 10th this season, so that could be a good prediction. Now, I mentioned how uh, there was a gap between 10th and 11. It closed up a little bit, but still not great. I have the Cronulla Sharks in 11th. I don't have the Sharks making the bottom four. I think they're too good of a team with too good of a roster and a lot of X Factor with Sean Johnson in their side. I've got them at 18 losses and 7 wins at this point. I've got the Broncos at the same with 18 wins and 7 losses in 12th position. Moving on to... Ah, we've lost our spot. No, we've lost our spot. That is not nice. We were up to the Broncos and the... Ah, oh, here we go. So the Broncos in 12th with uh, 18 and 7. Now I've got the Warriors with 5 wins and 20 losses. Very unfortunate there. I had the Warriors in 14th. In my ladder predictor, they're in 13th. I've got Manly in 14th. They're very... You're going to struggle without Tom Dravojevic. There's no doubt there. I've got them winning five games and losing 20. Crazy stats there. I've got the West Tigers with four wins and 21 losses with the Dragons. Now, I've got the Dragons at the Wooden Spoon and the Tigers in 15th, which is just like my regular season prediction. But this, potentially, if right, Tigers and Dragons could be battling it out for the Spoon based on for and against, which could... Do these sides meet each other later in the season? When do they play? That will be really interesting if they play later in the season to decide this wooden spoon. Tigers versus Dragons 2021 is round 8 and round 12. So not really, no. They play each other pretty close together around the midpoint of the season. So there you have it. Now we move into finals. Now, finals, very exciting time of NRL. Finals week one, you've got a, a, lim, uh, sorry, a qualifying final between the Penrith Panthers, who have just won the minor premiership at this stage, against my Parramatta Eels, who have made the top four. In fourth position, home advantage for the Panthers. They're red hot. I would take the Panthers to beat the Eels here, so I'm going to go Penrith to beat Parramatta and Penrith make it straight through once again to a preliminary final. And then you've got the South Sydney Rabbitohs, which would probably be at ANZ Stadium, or Stadium Australia as they're calling it now, against the Gold Coast Titans. Now, I think the Gold Coast Titans have had a good year. They've made the eight. They've snuck in there. But I think that their finals experience is not enough against the South Sydney Rabbitohs and the height around the Rabbitohs if they do get into finals, which I'm sure they will, this premiership talk is just going to boost and boost. So they're going to be fired up. I'm taking the Rabbitohs over the Titans. Titans have had a good year to build on with their team, but unfortunately it is a week one exit for the Titans there. Now I've got Newcastle in sixth against the Canberra Raiders. Now this would be in Newcastle, based in sixth position. Knights, Raiders in seventh. The Knights played really well against the Raiders last year, but I'm going to take the Raiders here. I think they're a little bit too classy. A uh, bit of experience in the finals as well. The Knights, obviously, first exit last year. Uh, in my prediction, I've got the Knights also going out in finals week one. I believe I have the finals week one exit. However, they do make the top four. Um, yeah, I've got them exiting here against the Raiders. They're going to be way too good too experienced. 
Then you've got another qualifying one, and you've got the Storm versus the Roosters. Now, the Roosters finish off in third and the Storm in second, so this potentially could be at Amy Park, and that, for me, is enough to pick the Storm. I think that um, both of these teams, really good come finals, could be a really tight game that goes down to the wire, but I'll take the Storm to win it. You've then got the Eels versus the Rabbitohs in finals week two, just like last year, and surprisingly, you've also got the Roosters and the Raiders just like last year. So this is absolutely mental that the ladder predictor has led to the same final series as 2020, which makes me think it probably won't be real because it changes every year. I'm taking Para here. I think Para can show that they are the real deal this year and win this game, not a finals week to exit, show that they can potentially go all the way by beating a Rabbitohs team that they have arguably finished higher than just like last year. And that advantage of Bankwest Stadium will be huge with big crowd numbers. So I'm taking Parramatta there to move into the prelim. Now I'm going to take the Roosters to go out in straight sets once again. The Roosters obviously finishing in third, the Raiders in seventh. But the Raiders are a team that can really get into the Roosters' head and grind out a good quality games and taking the Raiders to make prelim again. So you've got the Penrith Panthers versus the Canberra Raiders. Now this was very tough. Now in my prediction, I have got the Panthers, uh, sorry, I've got the Raiders playing the Melbourne Storm in the grand final. And you know what? I think this ladder predictor proves that I could be onto something. Penrith, red hot, Minor premiers, finals week three though, the Raiders just may shock them in Penrith, showing that they are still within premiership hopes, this Canberra team, going all the way against the Penrith Panthers in a prelim and straight back to the NRL grand final. You've then got the Storm at Amy Park against the Eel, the Storm in second, the Eels in fourth. I mentioned about teams getting into your head, and that's exactly what the Storm do to the Eel. So I've got the Storm beating the Eels here. And unfortunately, Parramatta going out in week three prelim. Be really interesting to see how far this Parasite can go in final. I'm really sick of these second round exits. Uh, I'm just hoping that we can see a prelim or a grand final appearance towards something. As I do think a premiership is coming uh, in the years to come. I'm not saying it will be next year. I'm not saying it will be this year. But I feel like it is coming and the window is still open for Parramatta. Now, let's go into our grand final. The Raiders in seventh, they've made the grand final, really good job there, versus the Melbourne Storm in second. And uh, just like my uh, prediction, I think the Melbourne Storm will be too good. We're going to see why it's Craig Bellamy, not just Cameron Smith, that is the real leader of this team. He's going to lead this side to a back-to-back -back premiership. Potentially against the Raiders, or potentially based on this, a grand final rematch part two of the Panthers who win the many minor premiership versus the classy Storm without Cameron Smith. And they might just beat them. Who knows? Penrith are a really good chance of taking out the premiership this year. But this has been the NRL Ladder Predictor. It is a ton of fun to do every year, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave a link in the description for Let's Talk Footy. I'll leave the, uh, the playlist link so that you can watch all the episodes as Season 2 is officially finished. Um, I'm also doing an NRL Would You Rather, which will be three installments based on your results via Instagram. Two have been done. One will be done tomorrow. And uh, yeah, guys, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what happened in your ladder predictor in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Just remember, guys, footy is now exactly two, not four, two weeks away. So get excited. We have the Storm and the Rabbitohs in just two weeks when round one kicks off.